one more time to Cooking with Gloria. Today I am making rice pudding, Mexican rice pudding that I know that you and your family will love and will enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. one cinnamon stick, vanilla extract, evaporated milk, condensed milk, sugar, water, and regular milk. I can't, I can't wait to get started because this comes out delicious every time. So let's get started. To my pan, I added water. Now it's nice and hot. It's about to start boiling. I am going to add my rice and my cinnamon stick. I'm just gonna move it a little bit. I'm gonna cover it and leave it covered for at least five minutes. When it starts bubbling and everything, I will show you that step. For now, I'm just gonna leave it here, cover it, and I'll see you back in five minutes. It has been cooking, look for about five minutes. The rice has completely absorbed the water and this is time to add our milk. We're going to add our condensed milk. Our evaporated milk. and our sugar. Once you have mixed everything completely, we're gonna have it here and let it simmer until it starts simmering so we could vanilla add extract and our vanilla bean seeds. So I'll see you back, my friends. While my rice is cooking in medium-low heat, I'm gonna start preparing my vanilla bean. As you know, I prepare my vanilla bean here at home. What I'm going to do is cut it, cut it through the middle, all the little seeds, I'm gonna take them out and add them to my rice pudding. This is what gives the rice pudding such a delicious flavor. I'm gonna add the vanilla bean and I'm going to add the vanilla vine into my rice pudding. I already took all the vanilla seeds out. Show them to you from close up. This is the vanilla seed. And this is the vanilla bean. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add this to my rice pudding. It's not in Mexican rice if it doesn't have this vanilla seed. So I'll see you over there, my friends. My rice pudding, it's already boiling. What I'm going to do is add my vanilla seed and I'm going to add the vanilla bean. I'll show it to you from close up so you could see it. How beautiful this looks and I'm sure that this is gonna taste amazing. I wanna show you how the vanilla seeds look in my rice pudding. Look how beautiful this is. And this is going to taste amazing. Look all the little dots. Those are the vanilla seeds. This is the vanilla bean, the one you see there. I have the cinnamon stick right here. We leave it there until the rice is completely done. And this is the vanilla bean. Look, my friends, how good and how delicious this looks. This is a very traditional rice pudding in Mexico. I hope my friends, you guys could cook it at home and taste this delicious Mexican rice pudding. I'm gonna continue here 
moving my rice around so it doesn't start sticking to the bottom for at least 20 more minutes. So I'll see you back when this rice is nice and fluffy and soft. My rice pudding, it's almost done. When it needs at least four my, for five more minutes before it's completely done, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I like to add it towards the end. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it here for about three more minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off. And I'll show you when this is completely done. I can't wait to taste this rice pudding. Look at this, my rice pudding is completely done. I'm gonna turn off my stove and I'm just gonna let it sit for at least five minutes before I put it in a cup and start tasting this delicious rice pudding. Okay, I'm turning off the stove. I'll see you back in a little bit, my friends. done with this rice pudding look how beautiful this looks I added some whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon right on top to make it look taste delicious this is the part I love I enjoy and I really look forward tasting my recipes let's see how my rice pudding came out it's nice and hot let's see okay excuse me Mmm. Mmm. The rice is nice and soft. The taste is just amazing. Delicious. Excuse me. Mmm. Especially with this cold weather, this is just perfection in a cup. I hope my friends, you could do it at home. You could try this Mexican rice pudding. And I know that you and your family will love it and will enjoy it. And it'll be one of your best dishes for the winter time. Thank you so much for watching my video from start to end. Thank you for playing my video, for giving me your time. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, Share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell so every time I make a new recipe, yes, you are notified. Thank you so much for being here. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying my rice pudding. Bye-bye.